पेज नंबर 16 टू 20 सो क्लास थ्री इंग्लिश ग्रेडेड वर्कशीट एंड यूनिट नंबर सेवन लिटिल टाइगर बिग टाइगर सो यू विल सी हियर द सॉल्यूशन फ्रॉम पेज नंबर 16 टू 20 कैटेगराइज द फॉलोइंग क्रीचर्स इन द एप्रोप्रिएट बॉक्स ईगल पीकॉक जिब्रा डोंकी डक sheep sparrow pig so first we will write here b for bird a for animal so eagle is a bird peacock is a bird zebra donkey is are animals duck is a bird sheep and pig are animals so first we have to write here bird's name eagle peacock duck and sparrow so male of duck is drake d r a k e drake okay eagle peacock duck and sparrow and animals are zebra zebra donkey sheep and last one is pig so these are birds and animals okay question number 2 add ed to make the past form of given words for example bark barked like that roar roared r o a r e d roared smile smiled play played walk walked so we have to add ed okay question number 3 is write the opposite of the underlined word jo underlined word hai unka opposite hame likhna hai opposite means antonyms jinka meaning jo hai wo opposite ho aapas mein the girl is not happy she is sad so happy sad the man is not very tall he is very short tall short I dance to eat idli. I hate to eat bitter ground. Guard, bitter guard, को खाना hate करता है तो hate का love. I love to eat idli. I hate to eat bitter guard. Karela. Question number two is. So once more you can see here. Road, smile, played, walked. and opposites happy okay antonyms so happy sad the man is not very tall short he is very short i love to eat idli i hate to eat bitter guard okay now page number 17 this is little tiger big tiger name some wild animals some wild animals ka naam hame likhna hai jangli janwar so lion tiger fox leopard and elephant we can write bear etc क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज मैच द फॉलोइंग एनिमल्स विद देयर बेबीज एनिमल्स को उनके बेबीज के साथ में मैच करना है सो टाइगर कब फिश फ्राई डियर फॉन पिजन स्क्वैब नंबर थ्री इज इन सर्कल द करेक्ट वर्ड जो करेक्ट स्पेलिंग्स हैं उनको हमें सर्कल करना है सबसे पहली स्पेलिंग है ग्राउंड सो जी आर ओ यू एन डी सो दिस इज करेक्ट नंबर टू है फेजेंट पी एच ई ए एस ए एन टी फेजेंट ओके ग्रंट जी आर यू एन टी ग्रंट क्रैप्ट सो के सी आर ई पी टी ई पी टी क्रैप्ट पाउंसड पी ओ यू एन सी ई डी पाउंसड ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर इज राइट द ऑपोजिट वर्स ऑफ डे नाइट empty full 
question number 5 is change the gender and write again gender means ling badalo male female masculine feminine so first is mother father boy girl dog bitch b i t c h sister brother and last one is cow so cow bull sant bull or ox okay so this is page number 17 page number 18 and 19 there is uh, handwriting practice cursive minor so you can practice yourself on page number 18 and 19 so this is 61 61 61 okay so now page number 20 page number 18 and 19 there is handwriting practice page number 20 reading comprehension this is seen passage from the chapter words in the mailbox unit number 8 seen passage Read the stanza carefully and answer the following questions. Most always, when the postman comes with letters, two or three, they are for my mother or my dad, but never one for me. So in this poem, there is a child, and whenever the postman comes to his or her house, then the postman brings letters for only. His child's parents, her mother or her father, but never one for the child. So the child decides to write some letters to his friends. Okay, this is the stanza. So question number one is, who does bring our letters? Letters कौन लेके आता है? Who does brings? Who does bring our letters? so we can write once more you can read the stanza carefully so in exam you should read the stanza twice i think two times you have to read you should read the stanza so that you can understand you can comprehend the, the passages okay so क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज हु डज ब्रिंग आवर लेटर्स लेटर्स कौन लेके आता है हु मीन्स कौन ओके सो वी कैन राइट हियर द पोस्टमैन द पोस्टमैन ब्रिंग्स लेटर्स द पोस्टमैन ब्रिंग्स आवर लेटर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर टू इज कंप्लीट द सेंटेंसेस दे आर for dash dash or my dash so the letters are for my mother or my dad second last line they are for my so they is stands for here they stands for letters so they are for my mother or my dad write the names of the family members which are mentioned in the stanza so in the stanza two family members are mentioned mother and dad so we can write mother and dad are mentioned in the stanza okay next question number 4 for whom does the postman bring letters postman letters jo kiske liye leke aata hai so we can write here the postman brings letters the postman brings letters for the child's parent bachche ke jo parents hain child ki jo mother father hai unke liye wo letter leke aata hai so the postman brings letters for the child's parents okay question number 
डज द चाइल्ड गीट एनी लीटर क्या बच्चे को कभी लीटर मिलता है डज द चाइल्ड गीट एनी लीटर नो द चाइल्ड नेवर गेट ए लीटर द चाइल्ड नेवर गेट्स ए लीटर बच्चे को कभी लीटर नहीं मिलता बल्कि जब भी लीटर आते हैं दो तीन तो बच्चे के फादर मदर के लिए हमेशा वो आते हैं सो दिस इज पेज नंबर फ्रॉम फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी क्लास थ्री इंग्लिश ग्रेडिड वर्कशीट थैंक यू सो मच बाय